Hat burning is hot right now and the profit margins are huge. We just made these hats on our laser engraver and we'll show you how we did it for right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. We have a super easy, low cost, high profit, super trendy project this week. If you've been on Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, you will see that hat burning is super trendy right now. And hats are always a fashion statement, but a beautiful custom hat can help you pay off your laser. This is a great laser product that you could sell at a craft show, craft fair. You could probably make an entire booth out of these hats. Or you can pair these with fashion trends and accessories in a booth. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. For this project, we needed some hats. Kim went a little hog wild on the hats. This isn't even all of them. But, well, this is close to all of them. Th these are your basic felt hats. I'm gonna educate you. Did you know that this kind of hat, that's, let me show you in tan, it'll be a little easier to see. This kind of hat with the flat top like this, it's called a pork pie hat. Did you know that? I didn't know it. Well, I know that now too, I was educated. So this set of four pork pie hats were only $40. So these came as a full set. These I purchased separately and they came packaged in this little wrap with a plastic core to keep them nice and shaped. These are only $20 each. So I got three of these and I got four of these because I had to do some testing. I, don't, I didn't know if it was gonna work on the first try. I don't think we're gonna sell any of these. I feel like we're gonna keep them all. Got some gifts I wanna give. I have some for myself. Right, because I had to get this black one. Look at this one. This one's beautiful. I got this one simply because it has red on the bottom, and I think this would make a really cool hat. If I can get it out of here, I'm gonna yeah, show you. Red bottoms. Yeah, look at that. That would be super cool, and I think that would be great to sell at a craft show. Yeah, you'd be making money moves in that hat. Okay. You know, somebody who wants to be like, oh, look, I'm cute in my hat, but you don't know that underneath it has some cool engraving on it, so. If you pop it up, I mean, you can see it. Yeah. Maybe if you look up at the sky. Uh, I, think it, I think it's gonna be great. I'm super excited about this project and to really see the different things that we can do with these hats. Uh, I mean, I'm super stoked. We'll also be using our Eon Nova 14 because the Z depth goes deep enough that we can place the hats in there to engrave them and we'll be using its onboard camera. This is the first time we've had the opportunity to use the camera on the Aeon Nova 14. Uh, the camera will allow me to align my image in Lightburn directly onto the brim of this hat so that I can have perfect placement for each of my engravings, as well as know exactly where it's gonna be on the outside of the brim. Step two, we're gonna make our design. I'm gonna start with a template for the hat so I'll know exactly where my images should lay. It's really simple to create the template. You're gonna draw two circles. You're gonna measure the outside brim of this hat, front to back, side to side, and you're gonna draw a circle with those dimensions. And then I'm gonna measure the inside brim, front to back, side to side, and now I'll put that circle on the inside, and now I know exactly where my images will lay and to be engraved on the inside brim of the hat and the outside brim of the hat. It's gonna be pretty much the same. Next, I'm just gonna grab some basic images from Canva, or I think I grabbed mine from Adobe Stock, and I can lay these out. Now, my first inclination was to create something with a full circle pattern. That's kind of what I was thinking for the outside brim of my first hat, and learned real quickly that I cannot do that because of the gantry on the laser. So, I just grabbed some individual images and laid out my design. Step three, it's time to engrave. Grab a pencil. Kim has learned a lot of lessons and you're gonna to wanna to take some notes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with how you place this into your laser bed. Now, this requires perfect placement, especially when you're doing the underside of the hat, especially if your image needs to be symmetrical on either side. You can't just eyeball it over here and hope that you've got the same, um, I guess it's on the same X axis over here. You're gonna to want to make sure those things are perfectly even. So the best way to do that is using the Eon Nova 14's onboard camera. Now this is the first time we've used the camera. We got the opportunity to set that up. It was very simple, super easy. 
I filmed the process and I think we'll create a little short and be able to keep that on our channel. So anybody else who's gonna try this can kind of follow along and see how easy it was. The next thing we wanted to do is to be able to put this into our laser. Now, if we're gonna start with the top rim of our hat, I didn't want to lay this, especially this white one, right into the laser bed because it's gonna be dirty. So I wanted to lay it on something and then I didn't want it to move. So Garrett was smart enough to go find this little grate that we used for, I think this was a grilling grate and we used it for sublimation. Uh, and just, I don't know, he pulled it out of the back. I literally grabbed it and pulled it out of the back somewhere. And I can lay it here, lay my hat right down on this grate. And the best part about this is that the magnets, I got a couple of magnets here, will now hold it to the grate and it's not gonna slide anywhere and it's not gonna move or get nudged in the middle of the engra engraved process. Hopefully the gantry isn't gonna hit the top of the hat. I'm gonna share a couple tips about that. But more importantly, I didn't want the air to hit it or anything to nudge it. So this is gonna help keep it right in place. The other thing is, because you are using a two and a half inch lens, you don't want the gantry to hit the top of the hat. Now, if I lower the bed to the point where the gantry can go over the top of the hat, that is way more than a two and a half inch distance. So what I found for our laser is that we're going to need, or with that two and a half inch lens, I'm going to need to be able to engrave my images two and a half inches from the top of the brim, which means I'm gonna to need to engrave them separately all the way around, and I do them one at a time. You're not gonna be able to go all the way around because again, the gantry is gonna hit it when it goes in that Y axis. You're just gonna to wanna to be able to engrave one, and turn then, the yes, you're gonna to have to turn it because again, the gantry isn't gonna come down here and engra engrave the second one, but what you can do is have the gantry come to right here and engrave the second image on the side or anywhere in this basic plane right here, it'll engrave. And then when you get ready to do the back, you're gonna turn it around and engrave the, engrave the back of the hat. So those were the first tips for how to engrave the top of the hat. The next thing was how to engrave, engrave the underside of the hat. Now to do that, I'm gonna to need to set the hat up in our bed like this. Now again, I can lay it like this, but it's not very sturdy, and I was afraid as it began to engrave, it would move around. So we created ourselves a little jig here. We went into the Boxify app. You've seen us use it a lot of times, and we created a little box. And the great thing about this is we created a top and a bottom. So I have a jig for the top of my hat, and then for my pork pie hats, we can flip it over. I'll take this brim off. And now I have the exact size of this hat. So it's used for both of them. That was super smart on Garrett's part. And now I can just lay my hat down in here. I will put this box into the laser and be able to align my camera exactly with the image of the hat so I know exactly where my design's gonna lay. And this one will be on the same plane as this one and they don't end up wonky from one another. Uh, with this one, though, you can engrave a full circle, right? Can yeah, I think the bottom circle? side, you can do the, the full circle. We can lower the Z-axis all the way around, and I could do a full circle image on this one. Uh, the images I chose to do were individual. They were in a circle pattern, but I was able to do them as individual images. And lastly, what is really cool is you can also engrave on leather. So I could engrave a design an image or saying on the leather band. Now, I don't think this is real leather and I am hesitant to engrave on it in our laser, but if you purchased a little leather band like this, a little leather belt, you can put that around the outside brim and again, put some words or a saying on it, which would be really cute. Step four, profit. <laughs> so you will probably sell these for like 50 or 60 bucks. Whoa, I've seen them go for like upwards of 150 bucks, so. Right, all of these hand burned hats, but even with a hand burned hat, I don't think you can get the precision that we can with this laser. Yeah. You can see the details in these flowers. Uh, this is an Aztec pattern and the symmetry and the preciseness of the pattern. Uh, this one, there's no way you're gonna hand burn this one. This one is a zodiac. It has a bow and arrow on top, which is a Sagittarius sign, some symbols on the outside, and phases of the moon on the inside. And then mine, even with the black hats, 
I don't have any engraving on the outside brim, but this one is beautiful. It has red underneath, and so I was able to add the flowers underneath the brim of this one. They make such a great fashion statement. And like I said before, you could do a whole booth of these. They have amazing profit margins. Big thanks to all of our patrons. We love you guys, and that is the best way to support this channel. Mm -hmm. Join us over on Patreon where we do extra content, have an after show. We have uh, two illustrator classes a month. I don't know, and there's a whole community of people out there. And if you're looking to make this a business, don't forget, we've just added that master it tier that is really focused on business level content. So not only do you get the free SVGs with the made it tier, you also get some business advice uh, around um, just networking, uh, marketing type topics in the master it tier. Well, we are about out of time. I got to go pump out some more of these hats and create a whole booth around them. You got to get going and we will see you next week where we'll do it building and make it again.